Hello, in this sixth video, we'll get started with firmware update on XB modules. For this, we require two S2C modules and two USB base boards. Plug on one of the S2C module on USB board and uh, plug it to one of the ports of uh, your PC. Uh, same way, you plug the second S2C on the second USB base board and plug it to the second port of your PC. You can use the same PC or different PC with XCTU installed. Now open the device manager and under ports confirm the allocation of the uh, COM port. For the, both the modules, COM ports are allotted now. Now open the XCTU application. In this XCTU application, you can see two icons on the left. First is the add icon with the plus symbol and the second one is the discover radios with the search symbol. Uh, click on discover radios. Now both the COM ports will be displayed. Uh, select all now you will get the uh, on clicking next you will get the com port allotment that is a port parameters port parameters you leave it to default that is 9600 baud rate 8 data bits no parity one stop bit this is called 9600 8 and 1 and no flow control and uh, click on finish now you will get both the modules, both radio modules are discovered by the XCTU. Add the selected devices. Now both uh, devices appear on the XCTU left hand side uh, bar. You can see by default S2C is on Zigbee format that is uh, Zigbee firmware which, indi which is indicated by ZB and the module type is router it is indicated by R there are three types of modules router coordinator and end device by default all modules are uh, R in Zigbee firmware now click on the first radio that is at COM5 for me click on that radio now the parameters will be read radio module settings are uh, being read and device information and parameters are displayed on the right hand side of the XCTU window. On the top you can see the product family as XB24C. All S2C modules are under family XB24C and the firmware is of uh, Zigbee TH by default. Other types of firmware are A02.15.4 and uh, Zigbee Mesh. On the right top you can see a plus and minus symbol. If you click on minus you can see the condensed view of uh, parameters under each headings. Suppose you click on networking you can see the parameters for uh, networking and if it is under addressing you can see the parameters for addressing and for IO settings if you click on that you can get the parameters for uh, digital IO pins. For now you click on plus symbol to exp get expand view. First we will program the S2C on 802.15.4 firmware that is of type S1. So click on update you can see the product family and three types of firmware. Default is Zigbee TH, TH means through hole, other one is DigiMesh and then 802.15.4. Select that and then click the latest version. Ensure that uh, there is no tick mark against this. Uh, force module to maintain current configuration and then click update you can see a green bar uh, showing the update process that is the radio firmware is being updated to 802.15.4 once the firmware updation is uh, getting over you can see the uh, indication of uh, reading radio module settings it will take some time and finally you get uh, radio firmware has been updated now click on ok you can see the icon has changed from zb to 802 and you can see the letter e which indicates that by default all devices are endpoint device in s1 firmware at the right hand side you can see the product family xp24c and under parameters you can see the channel by default is c there are total 16 channels for operation that is uh, mentioned in hex value by default it is C and next is the PAN ID which is the personal area network ID by default it is 3332 the range is 0x00 to 0x FF FF 
in any xb network all modules should work under the same channel and same pan id this is very important and next is the dh destination address high and then destination address low uh, total 16 bytes 64 bits here uh, 16 bit source addressing is also possible which is called my address in s1 and the next one is the sh uh, that is a serial high byte and uh, sl serial low byte serial high byte will be 00138200 and only the serial low byte will change this address is very unique and no other module in the world will have the same xp address this address is being used at the dhdl of the other uh, xp now you can use the side scroll bar to search the parameters or you can use the search window on the top suppose you search for bd it will land up at the border in bd which is by default it is 9600 this border is nothing to do with uh, transmission it is border between module and the pc suppose you search for c it will show the coordinator by default it is uh, not enabled all devices or end device in s1 uh, more uh, on this on further uh, videos you can search for do which will show the uh, do that is a dao zero pin here you can change it to digital or analog now click on the second module that is uh, uh, now at uh, zigbee firmware so for any uh, xp communication both the modules should be on the same firmware so if the first module is s1 you have to program the second one to s1 if it is first one is s2 second one to s2 mixing is not allowed now click on the second module and update it to 802.15.4 and select the latest version and then click on update now the second module is being updated to firmware 802.15.4 now the updation is over and the parameters are being displayed on the right you can see the channel and pan id are same by default and the icon has changed to 802 and e which represents end device so you can see both the uh, RF modules are working in the same channel and same pan ID 3332 this is very important in XP network both should be at the same channel and pan ID now let us close the second XP radio which is now at COM9 and then open new XCTU instance so for uh, purpose of uh, ease we will open the second module in this new instance of Digi XCTU now in the new instance of XCTU, click on the plus symbol to add a module and select the COM port 9 which is the second hour of module and click on uh, finish. Now the second hour of module which is at port uh, COM 9 is displayed on the second XCTU window. Click on that module to load the parameters. You can clip, click on default. Uh, to load the default uh, factory setting and then click right so before doing any setting you can do this just click on default so the previous settings will be erased and it will go to the factory setting after that you have to click on right now without doing any setting let us check the communication the dh and dl both are at zero for both the modules dh is zero and dl is zero which means any radio can communicate with any radio now click on console and then click connect the serial you can see the green uh, icon changing so now both the xct windows uh, in console mode and serial is enabled now type in anything on the second uh, xp module it will be reflected on the first one so the transmission uh, is shown in blue letters and the reception and the red letters you can see the in the hex window also the, the, the characters are displayed in hex so without any setting these two modules can communicate with each other this is transparent mode of communication